This week on Salvation Army Today, we fight global hunger, prepare for tornado season, and celebrate a special milestone. Salvation Army has joined more than 100 charities in the fight to end global hunger. The campaign called Enough Food for Everyone If aims to make leaders at the G8 Summit address the global hunger crisis. Influential actors, musicians, and community leaders from around the world have embraced the movement. One third of children in sub-Saharan Africa are malnourished. The world produces enough food for everyone. Why are one billion people going hungry? How can so many children still die because they don't have the food they need? Hunger not only causes very real human tragedy, it also costs economies billions of dollars. This doesn't make sense. Big corporations avoid paying millions to Africa every day. If we stop this, all of Africa could have enough food to eat. Enough food for everyone if we stop poor farmers losing their land. Enough food for everyone if we use land for food, not fuel. Everyone can have enough food if world leaders act now. Enough food for everyone if we don't look the other way. Together we can make if happen and be the first generation to end global hunger. Don't you want to be part of it? I want to. Sign up at www.enoughfoodif.org. Together we can make 2013 the beginning of the end for global hunger. Eve! Visit SalvationArmy.org.uk to learn more. With tornado season around the corner, the Salvation Army of Missouri is happy to add three new response vehicles to the fleet. The mobile feeding units will provide crucial food and emergency supplies to tornado survivors. Additionally, the vehicles will help feed local, low-income individuals and families throughout the year. The Salvation Army's Croc Community Center in South Bend, Indiana is celebrating its first anniversary this week. The 110,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility offers aquatics, athletics, fitness training, music and fine arts programs, church services, and more. For more information, visit our national website. In closing, we turn to Romans. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil by good. Be sure to tune in next week for more news from around the world. For Salvation Army Today, I'm Lindsay Fleeman. Thank you.